Gerard Johnson is the Texans quarterbacks coach. With a bright future on the horizon, it got a boost this offseason when he was selected for a very unique NFL program. The NFL invited, I think, 40 coaches from around the NFL um, who they feel have potential in the league to potentially advance their careers as coordinators or potential head coaches. A two days worth of professional development uh, program with speakers and informative things on, you know, just different things that can help us as coaches. And then uh, the cool thing was is they partnered the owners' meetings with it. So we were on one side of the hotel, the owners were on the other, and then uh, all of our meals were together. Johnson joined D'Amico Ryan's staff this offseason and he was elated at the opportunity. I actually <laughs> did the interview while we were having our baby shower in Dallas. So I decided to set up in a, in a hotel room and just kind of go through the process there. But I was actually in my house in Humble when I found out and uh, it was just an exciting moment. Nick called me and was just like, hey man, you know, we lo we love to have you a part of what we're building here. And then D'Amico called me, then I talked to Bobby. And so uh, uh, those guys did a really good job of vetting me and I got to know them. And that was a big thing, you know, throughout the whole process, you know, just seeing how, you know, sharp Nick was and how, you know, sharp D'Amico was and even Bobby, just knowing I'm going to work with good people. It's a great opportunity for, for me to learn from those guys. Um, and so I'm just excited to be here, you know, excited what we're building. And in the spring has been, you know, best case. But Johnson's not just any old up and coming coach. He's now in charge of the quarterbacks for his hometown team. That was one of the best days of, of my life so far, you know, just knowing I get to come home. I mean, of course, I've always been a, a lifelong Texans fan, you know, growing up in Humble, Texas. I mean, Houston is home. I love the city. Uh, we've had a house here for the last four years. You know, uh, it's where I met my wife and it's where my wife lives and works. And, and so for us, it just checked so many boxes and it was just kind of like a dream come true for all of us. Growing up in the Houston area, he was a fantastic athlete in football, basketball and baseball just to name a few sports. And it took him to College Station, where he was a record-setting quarterback for the Aggies. I love the quarterback position, and I think that everything that I've done as a player, all the things I experienced as a coach, regardless of level, have kind of all poured into kind of my teaching style, who I am as a person. And I think all those experiences allow me to kind of dive in and kind of give the, as much of me as I can to my players, just hoping they can kind of be the best versions of themselves. Playing at Texas A&M just uh, gave me an understanding of what it takes to one to play football at a high level, but uh, in, and also the fan base. You know, every day in and out, whether it's a win, you know, and, and dealing with that, and whether it's a loss, where you're getting booed out of a stadium, whether you're throwing interception, because I threw a couple my senior year, and, and just dealing with all those different situations, I think really gave me an understanding of what it takes to play the position, the highs and lows, the mindset, um, and what it feels to kind of be the man in the arena. Throughout his pro football journey, both on the field and as a coach and as an assistant. Johnson was blessed to learn from a slew of coaching greats. There's so many guys who've, who've influenced me and it, it, it's beyond levels. I mean, first with my dad, uh, my, my late father, Larry Johnson, was a, the coach and principal at Humble High School. He was one of the first coaches I knew was seen as a coach and that figure was Neil Quillen, uh, was the head coach at Humble High School. And then uh, Walt Beasley was my high school coach. Um, let's see, Mike Sherman, when I was at Texas A&M, is when I really kind of learned the West Coast offense and kind of got my foundation of football. A quarterback coach then with Zach Taylor, so that was that was pretty cool. And then for me to go to the Eagles and kind of get a very, very short stint, be around uh, Andy Reid and all those guys, and then to go and play with the Steelers from Mike Tomlin um, and just how he interacted with the players. And then from a coaching side of things, you know, I really think I spent my first couple years being a quality control for Nick Sirianni and just watching his effort and passion in the games. And then last year with Kevin O'Connell, I think I learned a lot on just offensive football, um, you know, really how to game plan, how to scheme. And so all those guys had a different effect on me, you know, whether I was playing or coaching, and I wouldn't be who I am now if I didn't, you know, interact with all those all of them. For now, though, he's keeping his goals and his focus narrow. The cool thing is I think all of our players have, have made leaps from when we first saw them in OTAs to where they are now. Um, I, I think that's the most exciting part. The players feel improvement. We see improvement as coaches. As coaches, we're working every day so we can get better. We're on the same page. And so I think it's just you look around the room left and right to see people working hard. You see people buying in. And that, bring, that breeds excitement for everybody.